there's a, there's a company called Help Scout. And it's just an amazing thing. And the cool thing about Help Scout is it does so many cool things. So it tells you, okay, how many tickets come in? How many tickets were closed? Who closed which tickets? How, which people are closing tickets? And so I can go in and see. And then also every single time somebody, like let's say an email comes in and a client is asking for the deliverables from Raquel because they lost their copy. Okay, well then Raquel's little support person goes in there or her CPA or her virtual assistant and sends them a link to their portal again. And when they send them the link to the portal again, at the end it says, how was this reply? Rate it, good, bad, you know, uh, or okay, right? And so literally every month, you know, you have a, a listing of prospects and customers that have given your company ratings on how they're reviewing uh, your customer support team, or it's not just your customer support, it's anybody that responds to this inbox. And that's really good because you can, and then they have a chance to actually say things. So prospects will say, I really asked a basic question and this was clearly a scripted response of someone not giving me the time of day and I can't believe this company, why would I ever work with a company that would treat me this way? And you know, it's like crazies out there, but sometimes it's from prospects, in which case I don't pay much attention to prospect complaints because I know the internet's full of crazies, but customer complaints, I wanna see every single one. If a customer complains, then I really wanna know why. And so we set this up when it was just us, but what's great about it now is people email supportandyworker.com, it goes into this help scout application and you can assign it to different people. So I can assign, or the, there's a person now that works for us that she can assign it to accounts receivable, she can assign it to me, she can assign it to Amanda, she can assign it to a bunch of different people based on the task. And so there's all these different assignments that go through, so you can assign it to different people, you know, assign it to um, AR, and you can do it in, into people or folders or both. So you could have every single AR inquiry you've ever had. You can have every single prospect inquiry you've ever had. You can have every single uh, inquiry for a partnership you've ever had in a folder. So that way if you ever need to go back and you're like, you know what, we really want to start doing some partnerships. I really want to partner with you know, financial advisors. Or I really want to partner with CPAs. Here's a list of every email we've had for the last three years from every financial advisor that was interested in partnering with us. And so you have like AR, you know, partnerships, um, like, and then there's also one where it's just like, um, like technical help, like, you know, maybe they don't have access to the portal or, or they lost their login or it's not working, they need a password reset in, in the case of yesterday. Um, also, you have a sales one. And then over time, and one of the things we've worked on now is, now that this has happened, well, early on when we set this up, it was just us going in there and answering stuff. But now we have people that literally answer all these things because we'll get anywhere from 50 to 75 tickets a day. And, you know, each one of these processes has, here's a, between each one of these processes, here's a script on how to reply to various inquiries, right? If someone asks to push a payment back, if someone asks to use a different credit card, if someone asks to, you, to give them a call, what, what exactly do you do? There's a script, um, there's also, um, you know, documentation that you need to do. So if somebody asks for something, there's a place you need to document that, you know, in, in uh, like Excel, or in our case, it might be like Infusionsoft. And so there's documentation on that. And email scripts, documentation. Um, there might also be, yeah, like, like um, you know, a call, a call script. Like exactly what you say when you give a call based on the type of thing in AR. And there might be seven different things in AR. So it's like this huge decision-making tree. But, you know, we, you know what I was saying yesterday that Optima Tax, right? I saw the commercial for Optima Tax. They have a company where you think the CEO is handling AR questions for tax resolution? No way. That guy has totally delegated it. And there's people that you pay $4,000 a month that work full time as customer support people that can literally help with all your AR questions. They can even help with technical support questions. They can help with sales questions. They can help with partnership. And they just sit there and all they do is answer emails, manage the support inbox, and give amazing responses to prospects and customers with all the detail that they need to make sure that people are happy. And I would say this is actually better than when I used to give responses because I would just be like, yes, no, <laughs> as short as possible, link to this, like come on the Q&A call, right? That was typically my answer. And now they really do an even better job. So if you haven't set something like this up, and especially in your case, Chad, where you guys are having a ton of these back and forth emails, I I'm sure you have a pretty good process on it right now. It sounds like if you have 11 appointments for Monday already as of yesterday, but I think that you know, something like this might make sense, you know, as you're going forward because having this in place earlier makes it a lot easier.